blue. Tim just oh pulled out gosh, a massive dude. one. Dude, That's that is broken. That is beautiful. Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rockhound. Today we are joined once again with Tim and a good friend, Doug, who is uh, one of my newer subscribers. He has a special area here that's out in the west desert of Utah, which I'm not gonna give the GPS to. I've been asked to keep it quiet. So <laughs> what it is, is it's a short area that's got some nice little geodes. And we've already picked up some geodes that have nice little splays of crystal in them. Uh, but what's interesting is these have opal in them. Some have white opal, but some have blue opal. And as you can see right here, there is some blue opal right here. Take a look at that. I might have to put the macro lens on for you guys to see it really good, but that's the big thing you're looking for is the blue opal in the geodes. Yep. So that's we are going sliver. to be looking for these geodes that have blue opal in them. Very exciting. This is neat. I've never seen blue opal geodes before, and this is something really cool. So just top. looking through what they've already dug out. It's all these little pockets. It kind of looks like the rhyolite a little bit at Topaz Mountain. This has got a little bit of blue right there. Here's some more opal. It's got some brown in it. So there could be some different colors in this. It looks like there's going to be quite a bit of white, too. Yeah, a lot of these are going to have white opal in them. But yeah, what we're looking for is that blue. That nice, nice blue color. Like that, right there. Just sprayed that off. That's what that one looks like. It's got some blue. Very fractured. Mostly yep. due to being close to the surface and probably freeze thaw temperature. Does that, does that to opals. So Doug just broke this up to see if there's some opal in it, and there is a little bit. Kind of got a layer of white and under it a layer of blue. Cool. So here we're looking at the wall. You can see geodes poking out through all, all through the wall. So most of the geodes are pretty empty and don't have much in them. So what you're doing is you're just going to go through and find which ones actually have stuff in them, which is going to be the uh, minority. But I imagine if you can get one out intact, there's a better chance that it's actually full of something. Here's a nice whole one right there. We'll take that one home and cut it open, see if there's anything in it. Here's this little one cut open. Ooh, oh nice, that's some dark blue in there. Very nice. Doug just found this piece. We got a little bit of blue in there with some white. Not too bad. I can cut right into it and I can see the blue. Tim, what'd you find? Oh, look at that thing. That'll be a good one to cut into. We'll see about that. You can just barely, barely see, see the little bit, but there's oh, yeah, some maybe blue. Yeah, we'll clean that out a little bit and see. I love this one. Look at that big pocket, and then it's got the white on the bottom. And unfortunately, it is quite fractured, which is too bad. But it's like this chair. It has a leg to it. <laughs> it's just so cool. Just I would leave this one just as it is. Here, got this broken piece. Look, you got a little blue going here and there through it. So a variety of opal going through some of these. But yeah, the blue is definitely the best so far. So I just popped this out. That's what I saw was that. And look at that on the other side. That'll be nice to cut into. What? Looking forward to that one. Oh. It's good, don't it? Yeah. He just broke one open, a little one. And look what was in it. He didn't think there was really much in it, but there it was. So yeah, anything that you suspect might have it, probably better to cut. <laughs> Doug just pulled out that piece. It's already broken, but look at the blue in that. Very nice. So Doug just pulled out a nice little cluster here, so that'll be fun to cut the whole thing. That's all blue. And then Tim, oh, just look at that. Beautiful. He found a, a broken one, and this is where the side of it that was empty, but this side's gonna probably be full. So that's gonna have a lot of blue down in there. That'll be nice. That's a good find. Here's this one all washed off. Look at that, Look at that flat surface right there. And you know everything underneath it's blue. Look at all that. That'll all be blue in there. And even the little one over here. Oh, it's just so cool. So I was pulling this off. 
and it came off and there was a fracture already on the back of it and it went right through a bigger one behind it look at that look at the blue in that spray that a little bit look at that look at that blue there's this one washed off there might be some more in here when we cut it we'll see okay so i pulled the other half off this whole thing came off and look at the back of it it just keeps going oh all these natural fractures right through it but still very nice we'll get it home and get it cleaned off another cluster and look you found another cluster and i think there's already blue right there yep look at that wow that'd be good here's this massive thing washed off so that geode had some nice blue in it that one down there had some don't know on those ones and on the back side look at that both of those had blue in them who knows what else tim is just over here cruising along pulling a bunch of them out here he just pulled out a nice double this has got a, fracture a whole bunch of little ones that one was fractured half. and broken look at the blue in there there's this one cut open oh uh, once again it was trying to turn into blue didn't quite make it filled in with opal here's this one cut open Yay, blue! Yay, found some blue. Yeah, just wish these things weren't so fractured. Here's this one cut open. Ooh, oh wow. That is surprisingly nice. Oh, look at that. Blue, the yellow, and even a little bit of orange. Here's this beautiful big double cut open. We knew it was going to have blue in it because pieces came out that were blue. Ooh, oh. Yeah, see this shattered and pieces of it were all over. But look at the rest of that. Wow. Wow, look at that. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. That piece right there. What a piece. Pulled this thing out, it had a crack right through the middle of it. And rather than being full geode, it just has a little vein of blue there and a vein of blue at the top. Interesting. Here's this one washed off. So sometimes it's nice big geode, but it has very little pocket in it. It's too bad. One. Tim just pulled that thing out. Look at that. Nice big one with a little teeny one attached to it. That'll be a cutter. Very nice. I can probably trim that Tim down. just pulled out a nice broken piece with some good blue on it. Nice. Oh, it actually came from here. Here's the other half of it. Right there. Here's this one all washed off. Very blue. Just a nice solid blue one. Just took this whole thing off. Mostly nothing, but right at the edge, one that had some blue in it. Right there. Broke it down a little bit. And the one that had blue, it's got a nice little candidate to the next side of it. So that'll be a good one to cut. Tim just got that one. Nice one for cutting. Here's this one cut open. Nice big one with the little on the top. Oh yeah, we got some blue in it. A lot more of that yellowish. Almost a pink in it. Finally got the other side of it out. There it is. Nice. I'll side this little piece. Here's this one washed off. It's got blue. Tim just oh pulled out gosh, a massive dude. one. Dude, that's that is broken. That is beautiful. It's very big though. Like, like oh, a, look at that. Look at the color on that. That is different. It's orange. And I can see blue there. It's going to be blue down in it. Yeah. This is going to be one heck of a piece. You're going to have some orange slices in blue jello salad. <laughs> Looking pieces out of there yeah i'd i'd try and cut it like right down that if you could i know that'd be amazing we we'll probably need your saw here's this big honker tim found all washed off look at that i love beautiful that beautiful flat yeah it's different from the other colors we have yeah. so we've got this almost almost peach you know going towards red but it's that orange yellow and then you have the blue right here and then of so. course you got the blue poking out saying guess what's underneath all of this well, it could be all of this is going to probably be blue it could be blue plus a little bit of that color maybe 
But most of what I'm seeing is pretty much blue once you get down deep enough. Yeah. Who knows though until we cut it. Yep. But that looks amazing. Doug's got a nice one over here. It's about to come out. Nice big one. Hold a rock off the top and just look. It just they're popping up all over the place. It's a twinner. Tim just pulled this thing out. I'll have to clean it off to see because it is broken on this side. It we'll is broken on one side. Here's this one all washed off. This is really cool. Look at all that white. And you know that everything underneath it's gonna be blue. And you can see a little there. Very cool. The surface of it's just so cool. Just pulled this off, this big rock off here, and look at that, a triple came out. Got me a snowman. <laughs> Here's that triple one cut open. Top broke off, so we'll look at the top first. Whoa! Oh, that looks like a rainbow. Look, it goes from the blue, almost a greenish, to then yellow, orange, and almost a red. Ooh, that's pretty. Wow. And then the bigger one. Huh, that's a lot of blue. <laughs> Look at all that. Ah, if it just wasn't so fractured. That could be amazing. Get some like this that uh, are kind of a little more flat. They're probably still good, so we'll take that home and cut it still. Just pulled this big cluster out. Nice, that looks really good. And maybe a bunch of little ones too. Who knows? Breaking in the floor here is really hard. And this is what it looks like when it comes out mostly. But it looks like I got a nice little double here. Let's hope it's good. He just pulled out a nice big one right there. Very nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's one side, and there's the other. I'll let you video it if you want to. So pulled this off. It had a fracture going through it and Look what the fracture went through. Look at that. Look at that blue, it's dark. Ah, that's too bad. What can you do though? Oh, look how blue that is though. Here's this one all washed off. Look at that intense blue. So I'm not sure which way it was. Maybe the white was up here and it broke off or maybe the white's still in here. I don't know. Or it could just be blue all the way through, which would be awesome. I can't. Doug just pulled this thing out. You can see already some uh, blue in there. This is a nice big thick one. That should be really good. Yep, I think that'll cut well. And I just knocked all this down. Let's see if there's anything in it. That looks empty. Huh. Look at that, there's a little bit of blue along the edge of what would have been a really big, empty one. Yeah, very empty. Just a thin layer on one side. And more empty ones. Tim just found this green neat little thing right here. It's green. Look at that. It's green crystals right on the surface and they're bubbly too, so... And I think it is maybe the opal. That is so cool. There's this one all washed off. So this one that Tim found is much, much brighter of a green than the one I found. Yellow green. Yeah, yellowish green. So very, very vibrant. Very cool looking. So we're digging over there and I decided to come over here and just see. Pulling out a few little geodes. I don't know if they're gonna be any good. I figure they're worth taking home and cutting though. See if we can see any blue opal over here. It sounds like a lot of it's confined to one spot. Oh, that's got some nice crystal on it though. There's this little one cut open. Oh, not too bad. I'm working my way over for where we're finding the blue geodes. Now, part of the reason he wanted me to come out here is so I could explore and get a better feel for just what's going on out here. Is the blue just over there? And what else is out here? Well, I just came across this. Look at that druzy. Isn't that beautiful? That's a nice piece of druzy, and it's just along an edge of the volcanics. And you can still see lots of little pockets, and I'm still finding tons of geodes. Just now the opal is mostly white, and then there's a bunch of chalcedony in them, and druzy like this. So, pretty cool. 
And there's some more of that white opal I'm seeing. So definitely still seeing opal. It's just I'm seeing white now, not so much blue. So I'd searched over there. I'm on my way back and I'm down lower from where they're at. Look at that. That's some of that greenish bubble opal. That's really cool. Here's this cleaned off. Hopefully you see that nice green over here. Greenish bubble opal. So while I've been gone, they've just been crushing it over here, finding a whole bunch of more good stuff. That sounds weird color. Yeah. And then over here, Tim's bucket's nearly full. And look at this piece he found. Oh, that's beautiful, huh? You just wish it wasn't fractured. Actually, it's better if it's in the dark, isn't it? <laughs> I'll just hold it here. Look at that. That's so nice. Okay, well, I'm gonna get back to digging. Here's this one all washed off. You can see a little bit of rust staining here where the fractures were. It's just too bad that things were so fractured. Something must have happened years ago causing all these fractures. Here's this one all washed off. Nice, nice blue in this one. Once again, you can kind of see that little bit of rust. So I'm over here where Tim was earlier. Just pulled that out, that looks good. It looks like it might be one right there. So we'll try and get that thing out. Here's this one cut open. Oh, more of that dark blue. Nice. So I pulled out a few good things. I pulled out this one right here, it's got some blue. This one, you see it's just got a white shelf and under that will be some blue. So a little bit. But then Tim had to go pull this thing out. <laughs> That's probably got some good stuff in it. That's a big one right there and a bunch of smaller ones. That'll be good. Here's this one washed off. So this one's really cool. It's got white, yellow, blue, all kind of mixing together a little bit. Very interesting. I'm thinking the layer is more like this because, oh, yep, there you go. See, it's got yellow on the top. So some of these end as a white layer and some of them end as more of a yellow layer. Very interesting. Here's this one washed off. Look at that white just covering the surface. It's just a cool texture. And you know that everything below that's gonna be blue, so. Oh, cool. That's sad that that's... Tim just pulled this big thing out, that fractured. Oh. I have all the pieces here too. Look I mean. at that. Spray that thing off. I think we could still cut that. it. Beautiful blue. What do you think? I'd keep it, absolutely yeah. keep it. Okay. I have to decide whether or not to cut it or <laughs> might want to just leave it as it is. Here's a few more loose pieces. This one has some nice layers in it. And here's some more nice blue pieces. These are just good quality blue opal. So cool. Here's this one. Once again, some beautiful blue. Very nice. Here's this one all washed off. Oh, another really cool one of Tim's. Look at that beautiful blue under there. And I love how it's like a nice little pocket back in there. These are so cool. Oh, just pulled that thing out. It was way in the back there. Way in the back. And I finally got it out. I don't see much yet, Which but... One? Oh, that one? It's probably gonna be some good stuff on this side. Hi, Tim. So here we have Tim's bucket completely full. Here's my bucket mostly full. We got a ton Backpack. of stuff. <laughs> so we're gonna head back now. We're gonna stop at a few places on the way back looking at stuff. I might have some more videos, we'll see. Otherwise, I'll see you back at home. So this one actually came out in two pieces and it was fractured like this right down the middle. And look at this. It's so cool. You got this layer of white on the top and then all this blue. Sky blue. Here's the other side. Amazing. Yeah, while I was out there, I <laughs> smashed my finger a little bit. It happens. Here's this one all washed off. A little bit of a lighter blue. Lots of white in this one and some yellow. Here's this one all washed off. 
you can see that level. Here's the white, and here you got it turning into blue. So here, in this part of the geode, which you can't see yet, is going to be blue. Ah, oh, it's so cool. I'm trying to decide whether I want to cut these to get to the blue or save them for now and maybe try to do something else with them later. I don't know, they're just so cool as they are. Here's this one all washed off. There it is. There's that table of white. The rest of the geode fairly empty. And then the intense blue underneath it. It's so cool learning about these two and how they form. You can see where the water was. It started out where it had whatever was making it blue. And over time, as the water continued to rise, eventually got to where it turned white and then stopped. Here's this one all washed off. Got a little layer of blue in here. Here's the blue on the bottom, and then as it grades, kind of goes through a grayish here. And guess what? All of this is probably going to be blue. Here's this one washed off. Blue, white. Cool. Here's this one washed off. It's just a small piece of one of those bigger ones. But it looks beautiful. Beautiful blue. Even when you find shards, they can be beautiful. Look at that, that blue. Just a small piece that came out of one. Definitely worth keeping in my book. Here's this one all washed off. This is a great one to show you the different layers. So it starts as a darker blue. Whatever's in the hot water that deposited the opal, it's coloring it blue. And then over time, it kind of fades to a lighter blue then eventually to white, and then all of a sudden it goes to more of a yellowish color, sometimes orange. So there you go, all layers in this one. And here's this one washed off. It's like a triangle. Here's this one washed off. A lot of when they fractured, you can see the fracture happened a long time ago because you got a little deposit of calcite right on the thin surface that broke. Here's this beautiful one cut open. Not cut open, washed off. I didn't cut this, it was already broken. But it's very nice. Here's this big, beautiful one Tim found, all washed off. It's fantastic. Look, it looks like a ocean, ocean I guess you could say, or even ice, yeah. whatever, like an iceberg in the water or something. Glacier. I don't know. It's cool. Yeah, glacier, there you go. Ah, oh, it's so cool, isn't it? I really like this one. Here's this nice one. So it's just the edge part, so there's not a lot in it, but what you can see is really pretty. I really like that white line right in the middle. It's yeah, quite often then... quite often it's just blue once you're yeah. under the white, but every now and then you get some other texture or layer going on. Here we've got a little bit lighter blue. Here's this one all washed off. Ah, cool pocket there. Beautiful blue underneath. Tons of blue in this one. Ah, oh, it's so nice. Here's this big one of Tim's all washed off. Once again, you see how a little bit of this calcite got in here and covered it a little bit. But that is so nice. Look at all that blue. Here's this one washed off. Just kind of a nice solid blue one. Not quite as dark of a blue, but still very nice. Here's this one all washed off. Got some nice blue in that on both sides. It's kind of a thin piece because it broke on both sides. There's this piece washed off. Very nice. Nice blue with that layering. Here's this one all washed off. Once again, it's kind of like a tip of the iceberg one where you got all the white right here on top and you know everything underneath it's going to be blue. So cool. Here's this one all washed off. This one's really cool. Look at those layers in there. Makes it look like, like little ocean currents or something. And then you got that nice white top. Oh, that's so cool. Here's this one washed off. Just blue right there. And a good chance there's gonna be some good stuff inside here. So we're gonna have to cut into that one. Here's this one washed off. Can't see a whole lot, just a little bit peeking through. But you know that underneath, it's gonna be blue here. Oh, that's gonna be amazing. Here's this one all washed off. So beautiful blue with the white. And then you see the white carry over. 
so there's the top of it that's the top so everything underneath it should be blue look at all of that underneath it there should be a lot of good blue in there so here's this one all cut open Ooh, ooh! look at that whoa the yellow's on the bottom that's weird most of the things I saw the blue was always on the bottom huh that is beautiful though here's this one cut open Ooh, nice blue hey the yellow's on the bottom again maybe that is a common thing here's this one cut open like this and very nice so yeah it looks like the history of this is it starts with a yellowish opal turns blue gets darker and then gets lighter to white so i went ahead and cut this one okay yeah definitely has the blue and the yellow but it is not as much as i thought it would be here's this one cut open oh hey that's cool that's mostly yellowish but it does have some blue at the top here's this thing cut open oh huh look it's almost almost a red it's orange not quite blue really close <laughs> it was turning into it didn't quite make it so this one we we're looking forward to you can see the white on the top should be blue <laughs> okay just a tiny bit of blue look at all that yellow here's this one cut open Whoa, whoa hey look at that hey it looks like a beach there's the beach the ocean and it's very misty and it's kind of orange all right this has a little blue on the end so hopefully has some in it oh oh look at that oh that's beautiful the blue with the uh, kind of yellow orange white ah that is nice all right this one had some blue on it here we go cut open Oh, <laughs> uh, it's kind of uh, just little layers mostly. It's still pretty. Here's this one cut open. Looks like a couple different ones. Oh, hey, that's pretty nice. Here's this bigger one cut open. Hey, it has it in it. And once again, it's so fractured. But it's got blue in there. Okay, this one we knew was gonna have blue in it so uh here we go oh yeah there we go very nice not too bad here's this one cut open which we could already see blue out here oh nice dark blue i wish it filled in more still very nice dark blue here's this one cut open whoa that is like solid dark blue oh that's cool here's this one cut open oh cool I like the layers in it not much dark blue but still very nice here's this double you could already see blue out here and it continues look at that oh hey this side looks like an eight <laughs> cool and there you have it, the blue opal geodes. Wow, actually they're thunder eggs technically. We just call them geodes because most people are familiar with that term, but they're technically thunder eggs. Beautiful stuff, isn't it? I just wish it wasn't so fractured. Ah, it's amazing though. So we cut through all the little ones. We haven't been able to get to the big ones yet. So my friend with the large saw, he's gonna get to the big ones when he's got time. So the bigger ones that we have that you haven't seen yet cut open, we'll have to show that in a rock cutting video down the road. But for now, that's what we showed, and really neat stuff, isn't it? Cool place. Uh, I just wish it wasn't such a small area, and that's kind of why we can't really tell you where it is, just because it's such a small area with very little. But who knows? Maybe we'll find more down the road. Maybe we'll find another deposit, and then I'll show you that one with you. I don't know. We'll just see. Until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.